In all the years I've been a photographer, this expedition to the Galapagos Islands was one of the most unique and exciting trips that I've ever been on because of the distinct qualities and experiences that the islands provide. Our principal photographer, Mr. Peter Pollack, is really unparalleled. Uh, Peter has trained thousands of people all across the United States of America in principles of photography. He's not only a gifted teacher, but he is a tremendous photographer himself. Photography is a powerful tool for communicating the character of Christ, and I have a passion for using it to showcase the unique design he has for every part of his creation, reminding us that he has designed each of us to uniquely reflect him. Take the design of the marine iguana, for example. This cold-blooded lizard typically feeds on marine algae, swimming out to sea for several minutes at a time for its food. Its dark color helping it to absorb the sunlight upon its return from the cold salt water. As it sits warming in the sun, it uses its nasal glands to spit out the salt, allowing it to absorb the fresh water it needs to survive. Seeing design like this in action is not always easy. For example, Dan Atchison waited patiently for over 35 minutes, studying the timing and behavior of this iguana before capturing the spectacular shot of him at 1 8,000th of a second, expelling the salt from his recent drink. While the animals on the Galapagos appear to have no fear of man, which can make it easier to get certain shots, timing and location are still key in any shoot involving animals. We saw these blue-footed boobies everywhere along the coastlines, but only a couple of times do we have the pleasure of seeing them feeding. Due to our distance from the action, I was unable to capture the shots I wanted, though I was able to capture numerous closer shots of these and other birds at other times with my telephoto lens. But watching Peter was exciting because Peter was always in the thick of it. You know, there'd be times I'd be saying, oh, we gotta get that shot. He had already taken it. Even close up, I often held down the shutter button to take several shots in a row so that I would be sure to get a good shot despite their quick movements. This underscores the importance of having the right equipment to capture the uniqueness of God's creation. Because of the great care with which the people of Ecuador protect the Galapagos Islands, we were often very limited in our movements as we hiked, which made having the right lenses key to capturing the often elusive creatures of the Galapagos. For my Canon 30D, I had a 28 millimeter lens, uh, f2.8 for my wide angle. I had a 70 to 200 millimeter f4 for my telephoto. And I had an 85 millimeter 1.8 for mid-range shots. I often wished I had a longer telephoto lens, uh, but was blessed with multiple opportunities to get the shots I needed. When less than ideal circumstances do come along, however, high quality lenses are invaluable to getting the most out of whatever shots you do get. These shots were taken by our executive producer, Doug Phillips, with his Leica M8 rangefinder. The spectacular lens quality for which Leica is known, coupled with the high-grade sensor in the body, is illustrated in these beautiful shots. Well, in a real sense, we were about the business of photojournalism on the Galapagos. And it's exciting when you think that the greatest photojournalists of the last 100 years have carried Leica cameras with them to the four corners of the earth. So I felt sort of a camaraderie with photographers going back to the 1940s and the 1950s and the 60s that had captured some of the most unique and fascinating events, and they'd done so on Leica cameras. I chose to shoot with several fixed prime lenses. I shot with a 35 millimeter, and interestingly, enough I was able to use a lens which was decades old because the Leica cameras allow you to mount lenses that go back all the way to the 1950s. I shot with her 75 millimeters wide angle lenses sufficient to shoot pretty much everything uh, that the Galapagos would offer from beautiful flora and fauna shots from a distance to wonderful close-ups. One of the biggest logistical challenges for me was taking care of my equipment. While I wanted my camera as available as possible I didn't want it damaged by salt water as we were riding the dinghy ashore or by salt sand as we were walking the beaches. Taking precautions like carrying plastic bags to wrap my equipment in or turning my back to the wind as I changed lenses helped keep my gear clean and running smoothly throughout the trip. Going to the Galapagos with a photography team is great, but going with a great photography team, that's fantastic. God time and again revealed his masterful design in the unique animals and environment the Galapagos Islands provides reminding me that he has designed each of us to be just as unique, affording us the opportunity to reflect his character in a way that no one else can, if we are willing to invest what is necessary to see and communicate it.